pour toi et son gravité. Hi there, uh, today's video is um, a long overdue one because it's um, on the model frame uh, which is a design I released a few months ago. I posted some flight footage, some images, some some different content on the Instagram or Facebook uh, using the frame but never took the time to make a proper video describing what was the, the concept and the goal of the of the frame and uh, how it works, how it's built, how how you can get uh, get all this around. So basically, mod L is uh, a modular frame. In fact, if you remember my design uh, a good year ago, I designed frames like this one, uh, which is called the Evo 2 Mark III. That is, uh, let's say, uh, a base frame with some plates that you can put on top of it and put various cameras and uh, different gear. And I wanted to, to get something more usable uh, than this one because this one has some, some defects, especially in the rear because the, you don't have much room and to put the gear in it. So I wanted to, to design something new that uh, basically can fit uh, HD system, DJI systems, uh, basically any kind of gear you can think uh, think of. So uh, this is the model design with separate arms. And uh, let's first let's first get through the the option of the frame. So basically, on Thingiverse you will find. Uh, oh, I don't have a top plate. Let's take this one. Um, you will find different parts. You will find arms that come in different lengths uh, from three, 3 inch to 5 inch that I don't have here. Uh, the, 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 the 4 and 5 come even in two, two th different uh, thicknesses to, to make them more solid if you want, but uh, with the, 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 some, some weight uh, added to that. Um, the 3 inch and 4 inch can take 9 mm to 12 mm motors, so you can go with small motors, and the 5 inch only 12 mm because they are designed for uh, 12, uh, 2004 and 2203 motors that are 12 mm motor mount, so that's why it's like that. Uh, on top of the arms, you have the various plates. This one is the same for the frame, it's the, the bottom reinforcement uh, cross, but you have three or four uh, lengths for uh, for the base plate and as well for the top plate that go on top of it. This one is called the short back, is the shortest uh, version of the frame, uh, so it's the lightest obviously, and this one have no room in the rear. If you put your flight controller here, uh, basically it's almost against the standoffs like, uh, like on my build, but Anyway, you don't need so much room on this kind of build because you can fit all the components in the same place and uh, get a very short and very light, uh, very light setup. Um, if you plan to to get one cut, uh, you have here six holes that will take a press nut, like this one. Uh, that comes from uh, Beta FPV. They sell those by bags for the, I think, the X Knight frame. It's a very tiny and very light M2 press nut that go in the holes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and will um, will allow you to attach the arms from the bottom with a single screw. Uh, so basically, you you put the arms like something like this. 
and they attach to the main body with uh, each one individual screw and the central screw that take both of the arms to, 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 to hold them together and same for the rear uh, the rear arms uh, you can even sweep the, sw swap the arms uh, without taking everything apart beside the unscrewing all the all the, the, the main screws and uh, take the motor off and put a new arm with the new motor so it's uh, it's quite convenient to, to use uh, now on uh, the design principles as I mentioned uh, I wanted something that from the very start can work with the DJI uh, Vista system because it was out at the time when I started to design this and uh, I know that a lot of you uh, fly this currently and uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe today, if you if you make a frame that doesn't hold the Vista, it's not it's not the, the best option. Even if I don't fly digital for now, uh, but yes, from the very start, uh, it was designed with the Vista in mind. So the the front is uh, wide enough to take the the, the, the Vista camera. You have uh, 27 millimeters from standoff to standoff, so basically the camera can even pass through the front uh, front cut here. You have the mounts you need on the Thingiverse page, and uh, here you have uh, various options to mount the Vista. You can put it uh, sideways on the stack screws by taking off uh, the four screws on the, the side and screen from behind to, to attach the Vista here. Or if you prefer, even if it's not necessarily my favorite solution, on the top plate you have 20 millimeter uh, 20 millimeter, 20 by 20 pattern on the top plate. Uh, so you can basically attach the Vista uh, on the top plate and put all all the system directly on the on the frame. Uh, some prefer like that. I don't really like it because um, if you attach it here, uh, it will be a bit more difficult to pass the strap and uh, and get get the the strap in the correct uh, the correct holes. It works, but. Uh, as as one prefer, you can do as you want. In fact, um, on my particular build, it's uh, an analog one. Um, as I said, I don't have any DJI gear for now because I don't fly that much to to need to to to, to change up everything in my uh, in my quad ecosystem. Let's say, uh, so I made a mount for a nano camera here which is the baby ratel which is very good quality uh, i use jprc 20 amps uh, fc to spin those 1404 motors uh, with gem fan 40 23 props it works very well you have uh, enough power to, to to spin those motors and props and on top of that i use the tbs uh, nano vtx board uh, just to have a clean build here and I didn't put the crossfire receiver directly here to keep the profile as low as possible so I put it in the front you see it right here so if you have a Vista uh, basically um, you have all the room you need here to put to put your Vista and the receiver in the front if you would want and you have also various mounts for the antennas in the rear this one is uh, made to, to be able to attach the um, Instapod I also published on Thingiverse uh, in the back. Uh, it's a bit crappy because you don't have enough room to tilt the camera correctly uh, because of the battery here. So I have to do something different here because it's not very useful uh, as is. Uh, you'll see in the footage a bit later. And you also have a mount uh, for the, 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 the Insta interior or basically what you want to, to put on it because the dimensions are always the same if you want to put a naked GoPro. Uh, it's totally possible. You can put an Insta in this orientation or uh, or uh, horizontal. It's very very convenient to use. Even if I have to make some rework on this one as well because it's a bit too. It should be a bit forward to be able to tilt it more when it's on the on the quad sitting on the quad. My setup flies on. Forest 6 uh, 650 battery. Um, it's 115 grams dry, so with the battery sitting somewhere uh, under 
200 grams. Thanks for watching. Uh, now I let you with some flight footage of the Insta360 uh, and I'm going to swap my motor because I broke the wires so yeah, I need a new motor here uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, like and subscribe please um, see you next time bye bye Let me explain if it isn't clear